Hello boys and girls, welcome to our first non-tutorial Kerbal Space Program session. <clears throat> Let's start small, start game, Let's start game, start new game. Player name. Sandbox. Yeah, let's play the sandbox first. Career is not there yet. Flag. I want another flag. I should... Hmm. <clears throat> what flag to choose? Kerbin Mun flag. Bullseye. This one, this orbs is nice somehow, but it's not not flag like. <clears throat> this is flag like. Okay, I'll go with this flag. Uh, for our first mission, I think we should learn some basic rocket design. Uh, unmanned rockets, which would just decouple and, and fall down. So we have vehicle assembly building, we have our launch pad. What is this? Tracking station. Oh, you can track your missions from here. That's exciting. Wonderful. Um, come on, please. Can I have back my Kerbal Grounds? What's this? This is nothing. This is Astronaut Complex. Space Plane Hangar. Yeah, I'm... I won't go into space planes yet. I think I will go to the vehicle assembly. And here. We will try to construct a nice rocket. Nagi rocket. Racket, <laughs> racket, not racket, rocket. One. <clears throat> command pod. What if I don't want a command pod? Sput stay Putnik, <laughs> stay Putnik Mark II. Yeah, yes, yes. We, we one of our first mission will be the Sputnik reenactment propulsion pods. Cupola module manufacturer developed to provide a high visibility. Mm. Can I build a rocket which is not manned? Remote guidance, external command set. Okay. Control. This is nice. Latest, the latest in research and development enabled the development of this little marvel. The sensory array computing nose cone is outfitted with many quality sensors and computers salvaged from the highest quality aircraft scrap. SAS equipped. Yeah. Aerodynamic. Protective rocket nose aerodynamic nose cone I think I will take this fuel tank solid fuel booster okay the fuel booster is good but 
I take just the solid booster, solid fuel booster, and some aerodynamic on top. Standard NC. Okay, this is too small. This is just right. And that's it, right? I think this, this should already fly. Do you think it will fly? Not so sure. Radial engine body. This engine body features radiator flaps and cowls to help air breathing high performance engines. Simple aerodynamic tail for aircraft. It's designed to fit into standard one meter attachments. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reminder to all personnel, this part is really sharp and it probably hurt you if you fell on it. Standard control surface made of the finest material at hand. These flight surfaces are guaranteed to operate while attached to the, to the craft. However, studies have shown that a lack of atmosphere may slightly impede the function. No refunds. Yeah, how do you rotate this? Hmm, I don't know. Do you want some wings? Winglet. Structural. It's too big. Structural wing. Deluxe wing. Wing connector. Oh. Delta wing. Oh, that's too big. Can I have small wings, please? You call this a winglet? Okay. Let's have it. Let's have three. Okay. <clears throat> now there should be something like the ramp that we, we saw in one of the tutorial uh, rockets. Landing strut. A small landing leg designed for space probes or lightweight landers. No, that's not it. Okay, that's basically mobility enhancers. Decoupler. External command set provides the controls need to fully operate a spacecraft. <laughs> later, we will take a look at it later. Cockpit. Cockpit. So how do I... Um, if you know how, how I could, uh, could have these additional things there no control this vessel has no remote control or manned it won't be controllable launch anyway i just want to see how it flies it's our first missions time warp one Okay, Nagi rocket, ready to start. It's probably solid fuel, okay. 
Let's ignite it. <laughs> it just doesn't ignite like this. How, how do we ignite it? <laughs> and again, here we are. Maybe fuel booster is not motor. All right. What next? Space center. So Nagi rocket doesn't fly. Maybe Nagi rocket too will fly. Maybe it really needs a control center. booster we have that do we need a fuel tank I don't know what does the fuel booster do while considered by some to be little more than a trash bin full of boom the RT-10 is used in many space programs whenever the, whenever the, whenever the need to save cash is greater than the need to keep astronauts alive Use with caution though. Once lit, solid fuel motors cannot be put out until the fuel runs out. Mm -hmm. That's fine, I just need a way to, f to, to ignite it. Maybe for ignition we really need a manned uh, craft. Or maybe well, we saw something like an unmanned command thing. Oh, a parachute, yes. Parachutes will come later, I just want... Where did I... and this is, this is what I saw. Avionics package. So maybe if I place this, the base cone system, yes, and then this avionic package. This is Naki Rocket 2. Maybe this. Sensor array is outfitted with many quality sensors and computers salvaged. Maybe it will work now. Let's try to launch this. It has no remote control things. Maybe it won't work either. We need a remote control ignition. Come on, launch. Okay, that's not how it works. Abort. What's this button good for? It never works. Can I just go back to the revert flight assembly? Okay, so this doesn't work. <laughs> mm. 
No remote control on manned modules. I need a remote controlled module. Copula cupola module provide high visibility control room for orbital station and place for thoughtful care bars. no lander can capsule was designed for lightweight non-atmospheric landers and seats a single occupant no this one equipped worst conditioned experience for slightly weight crew to operate one crew to operate one crew to operate one crew to operate one one unmanned QBE is a sturdy cubic and relatively lightweight probe core. It can also it can survive higher heat loads than counterparts. Its simplistic shape also appeals to modern <laughs> art collectors. It's really something for everyone. Really. External command set provides the control needed to fully operate a spacecraft just like a command pod but without such needless things ah. so do we need to attach it to to the command pod Maybe Kerbal is not meant to do unmanned flights. understand what is this remote thing for EAS uh, external command set provides all the controls needed to fully operate a spacecraft just like a compot but without such frivolities as pressurized interiors or seat belts oh maybe this is when you have when you have some when you want to command your spacecraft from the outside in outer space but you still need a Kerbal to sit there and do the job okay so let's uh, let's forget about unmanned flights And we need a decoupler ring. Remote guidance unit. A larger version of develop partnership. Here, yeah, this is it. This is it. Developed at the behest of HR departments everywhere where the RGU con allows for ground control of unmanned rockets unmanned rocket here we go and we just now put a cone on top of it maybe this will fly Launch.
So, can we ignite it? Yes! Yes! I can still control it. It's fairly hard to control then, though. Not bad, not bad. 24,020... I remotely control this. Ah, it was uncontrollable because it had these wings. And, and the, the, the airflow stabilized it. Not bad, look at that, 33,000 kilometers. Next up is multi-stage rocket. Look at that. That's pretty high. <laughs> Forty one thousand. Three and still racing, still rising. Now forty three one, forty three one twenty. I think it was. Now that's not bad. Forty. The first, the lowest orbit is 70,000, I mean 70,000, says, yeah, 70,000 meters, 70 kilometers. See what's the highest speed we can reach. And this is all for science. This can crash. I mean, we have unlimited money. You don't really need a manned spacecraft. 20,000, 18, 17. 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 11. and it's getting slower and slower. Why does it sink slower and slower? I can't get it. Why is it sinking slower and slower? I'm not decelerating. Oh no, it's surface, okay. But still. Ah, maybe it's orbit velocity. Orbit velocity is not the airspeed. Where's the airspeed? And crash. Wonderful. Flight report. Highest altitude, 4336. Highest speed, 1000. One kilometer per second, over one kilometer per second. Nice. Wonderful. Return to vehicle assembly. A 
so this is Naki Rocket 2. Can I save this? Can you somehow save your rockets? Load. Auto saved ship. Rover. Do I have my Nagi rocket? I just want to save this. So how exactly do you save this rocket? I want to rename this. Mm. Somehow I want to keep all my rockets saved somewhere in case I want to see them again. Save a rocket mission flag. It's okay. And if it's got a name, why does it save under auto save ship? Oh, Naki Rocket 2. It's here. It's right here. Sorry. I don't need this. I don't need. I don't need any other one. Okay, so we can we can build a third one. So this was this. What if I? What if I don't use... actually, I can... What if I use... Um, a bit more than this. Solid fuel... Fuel tank... <coughs> Ah, maybe. What if I couple? What if I have another solid fuel booster? And I need a decoupler ring then. Um, how do we do that? I can stack the rocket now. Does it need a nozzle? Basic jet engine, liquid engine. Maybe this is supposed to be the nozzle. It doesn't turbo jet engine. Hmm. Have a spiked nozzle. 
efficient. Ah, it need propellants. Liquid fuel, liquid fuel, okay. So these nozzles are for liquid fuel, liquid fuel. Okay. So let's use one more of these. One more of this booster. Let's make a two stage rocket. Inline reaction wheel. Now, what is this? By adapter. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. I will try to use it later. Structural fuselage carries no fuel. It has merely structural element as such. It's higher and more solid. Okay. Quad adapter, three adapter, adapter. Stack decoupler. Stacked, yes, stacked rocket, stack decoupler, hopefully small explosive charge, yes. So I'm not, I'm not sure whether it can work like this. Maybe I, I, sh I first need what I had there. In the control. Pods. Remote guidance unit. So this is the first stage. Then we will use a decoupler. Where was it? you do it Excellent beginner's level core with simple geometry and lots of flat surfaces for attaching equipment. Maybe not what we need. Okay, what if I have just two of them stacked? Let's experiment a bit. Another booster here. Okay, that's not how it works. Another booster here. This one and probably a decoupler. Okay. 
No, decoupler just doesn't work. Maybe. Let's try first without. Did we have it like this? Maggie Rocket 3. Save this. Launch this. Let's see. That's the remote control unit, right? I don't know what will happen. Probably it will explode right at the launch pad. Ah! Yes, exactly. It did launch. <laughs> and exploded. It was overheat. Okay, warning, using physics warp can affect the structural vessel, okay, never mind. So this went actually worse than before, we did not reach as nearly as much height above the surface as before. A stacked rocket, stacked propulsion rocket, and I first have to learn how how, how the how do these decouplers work? Crash! Wonderful. Yeah. Fuel tank, it holds liquid fuel boost. Maybe these boosters are not supposed to. If I want first start this one, how do I do it? I probably need Oh, okay, let's 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 learn something else before. There's a parachute. Command pod. Remote guidance unit. And then we need a parachute. And 
double sized with only 50% of the structural integrity. Small deploys high up and certainly not enough to stop you smashing into the ground on its own but useful for slowing down heavy craft before the deployment of your main chutes. Okay. Will this work? Nagi Rocket 4. Let's see. <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> that the that the com command unit would do both things at once. <laughs> okay, I need more practice, guys. I think this is an excellent situation for streaming this and and learning uh, while streaming. You guys know a lot of tips and tricks which you can teach me. Maybe we will see our Croatian celebrity Ertl attending the stream. Uh, so he's an experienced uh, Kerbal space uh, farer. He has he has had a manned, ex successful manned landing on on the moon. So he knows a lot about uh, rocket design and stuff. Maybe he can help me. So I'll just end the session here. Uh, let it export and compress and uh, stream some experiments and uh, come up come to the next session after I've come up with with a good rocket design for some unmanned missions okay thanks for watching see you next time